slow. Up. Oh. Good. Oh my god, guys. My legs are about to f <laughs> that was it. That's how we're doing one. What's up, guys? I'm here with my old training partner, good friend, and new IFBB pro, Ashley Lakomowski, and Russian Mike. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Uh, today we are going to be filming Ashley training her, we have mostly quads? Yes. Or is it mostly hamstrings? Um, today is... Hamstrings first, then quads. Yes. So what mostly hamstrings and then some quads at the end. Uh, it's her week three of her master cycle. She actually kind of learned some programming from me whenever we were training partners in San Antonio. So she actually wrote her own master cycle. And we're just going to be kind of motivating her because she's post-show, it's time to put in some work for the off season. Me and Rush and Mike are gonna be yelling at her and making sure she goes through lots of pain. And it's gonna <laughs> be a good time. In the Russia, pain is normal way of life. Like I'm off You ready? I'm ready. Yeah, let's do it now. <laughs> Look, Russian Mike here, понятно? First exercise, lying hamstring curl for back of leg hamstring. It really bring out the back of leg. Anyway, multiple sets, set of 10 to 20 reps. Get good stimulus to fatigue ratio, full range of motion, everything under control. One thing you notice, female, IFB pro, usually train better than male because they're not giant egotistical animal. Понятно? Давай. One more after this. Right back up. Beautiful, good. Okay, so she has written down what she did last week. And you've seen how we're progressing through our massing phase. So I believe she did uh, three or four sets on this last week. We're gonna try to use similar weight. The machine's probably a little different, but the load and the tension of the fibers is gonna be the same no matter what. So we're gonna try to beat what she did last week by at least a rep, maybe add a set depending on how she feels and how her recovery was last week. So I'm gonna ask her some questions about that and we'll see what she's gonna add and what she's gonna just do the same, basically. How was your soreness? Uh, you were able to train legs fine the next yeah, session? Yeah. Cool. So we'll probably add a set and beat the first three sets by like a rep or something? Yeah. Cool. Beautiful, light taps. Two. Three, good. Nice, light taps. Yes, halfway, let's go. Let's take this one about two from fail. I'm gonna trust you on this one. You trained with me long enough. I know when you're bullshitting me. You'll notice between sets, I'm asking her, uh, how does the pump feel? Before we started, I asked her how her soreness was last week and how her recovery was last week. So those are three metrics that you can use to uh, track progress and see where you need to add volume. So she had a good pump from this exercise so far. We're gonna see how it feels at the end. If she does four sets, it gave her a really good pump. She gets some good soreness and her recovery to the next session is decent. Probably keep the sets the same for the next week and then just add uh, reps. If she gets very little pump, uh, minimal soreness and recovery from the next session is like she was ready days ago, then you can add sets. 11, come on. So have one more. Let's beat last week. Beautiful. Good stuff. Good stuff. Now we have good morning. Smith machine, good morning. Downside, Smith machine make you wood, not real weight, not barbell. In Russia, everything barbell. Positive, good mind-muscle connection. You lock in range of motion and path, and you can really focus on pushing hips back. Real critical element here. You don't want your back to round. You want to stay nice and tight. You want your glutes to push back and you want to make sure your knees stay right here. Here bed, here bed, right here. And you move your butt back. Feel big tension in hands. Stomach out, chest up a little bit. Feel great. Painful tension is the goal. Set of oh, five to 10 reps, usually good. Why five to 10? One, compound heavy movement, very good. High force. Two, 
for many people, once your lower back do more than about 10 reps, you get tired in the limiting factor, not your hamstring. Понятно? Okay, let's do it. Actually, be athletic. Good, there it is. Two more. Chest. Knees back, nice and easy. Good. Stay tight. Up. One more. One, One more, more, Ashley. Big chest. Come on. Chest up. Yes. Slow. Up. Good, good shit. Rack. Good shit. That was really good. Feel it in the yeah. All right, folks, they're turning off Russian Mike for a second. Serious commentary. So here's the deal. Uh, big question is on the Smith Machine Good Morning, where do you put your feet, right? Because potentially we could put our feet really far forward. We could put our feet right under the bar. Or we could put our feet behind the bar. And there's, of course, a spectrum of where we're going to put our feet. This isn't really a question at all biomechanically in a regular Good Morning because your feet are just put wherever and the bar auto selects after that. With this, because the bar is locked in, where you put your feet is actually potentially important. So there's some nuance here. If you put your feet really far in front of the machine, then what ends up happening is you can feel a better hip hinge, but your range of motion is more limited. So for some folks that aren't very flexible, but like a lot of tension in the hamstrings, that's potentially a good move. If you step really, really far back and you're kind of tilted forward, you get a huge range of motion in your hamstrings, but because your back is stretched out a little further and your center of gravity is a little bit in front of you, the ability to generate high tension can be somewhat compromised. So somewhere between extremely far in front and far, really far behind, you have to pick your own best position. And that doesn't mean it's gonna be necessarily right under the bar. Experiment, if you've never done this exercise before, do a few warm-ups, try a little bit in front, full range of motion, try a little bit behind, try in the middle, see which one works best for you. For me personally, just slightly behind the bar gets me a really baller range of motion, tons of tension in the hamstrings, doesn't compromise my force generating abilities enough to be worth the trade-off in the other direction. So I like a little bit behind, you might not be of that proclivity, give it a shot. It's all about finding a situation in which you can produce high tension, high force, get a really good block and brace going, but still get a huge translation in your hamstrings and get a ton of tension build up right there. Give it a shot. The pain is part of the process. And up. You got two more. Big chest. Arch. Hold the arch. Slow. The arch. Big chest. Leave the hamstrings. And up. Yes. One last one. Big chest. Pause for a second. Up. Good job. That's it. Good stuff. Very good. We got it that time. Okay, guys. Russian Mike back. I don't know what happened. Stupid American Mike did the last intro. Okay. Here's the deal. Leg press, not all same. Sometimes leg press designed by stupid idiot and bad. All biomechanics off. However, we can fix. Here's the deal. Most leg press, they don't let you have super deep range of motion without your butt coming up, rounding, bed for back. What we want, we, we get our rig it, and there's foam roller, only good use of foam roller, and then whatever the fuck that is, some kind of pad, we put it in, that way her hips up already, it gives her full range of motion at the knee, no flexion at spine, beautiful, full run, SFR. What the fuck, Jared, what do you think? I've never heard a Russian use the term ghetto rig. <laughs> now you have. First time for everything, Jared. So this is her uh, hamstring emphasis day, so her quads are on the back of this day. She did two sets last week, probably gonna go three. You said your pump was pretty decent. Yeah. And you recovered before the next session. I did. So we're gonna go three sets. We're gonna try to rep match those first two sets with a little more weight. See how it goes. Okay, wish me luck. 11. Good, more. There's a reason you're an IFB pro. 12, keep going. Let's go. No rest. 13, okay. come on. Take your time at the bottom. We're not rushing these. Again. Control. Beautiful. Up. Two, come on. One more. One more. Get it together. Get it together. Hit it. You're gonna be strong in this Let's go, let's go, let's go. Push, push. Use your legs. Yep, rest. You got rest. two more, right? One and let's one, Ashley. One and one. One, pause again, and then we'll go again. 
chest. Push, push. Good. Last one, go big now. Big chest, big chest. Gentle. Big push. Yeah. Ah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Long ass set of twenty. <laughs> sorry, guys. No, it was great. Really that was no, awesome. it was perfect. Oh, okay. You're doing That's it just how like we I say you. in Russia. <laughs> one long ass set. <laughs> Let's just cash this one out. Let's just cash her out. Right. Two sets. <laughs> Sixteen. Come on. Gentle. Let's go. Seventeen. Rest. Beautiful ass. Three. Two. Two. Hit it. Big yes. Push. Good again. Push. Big push. Go, 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 go. Rest. Oh, awesome. Breathe. We got one, one more. Last one. Make it Big chest high action. quality. Control the and so you can push. Breathe in before you push it. Breathe in. Push. That's it. Yes. Oh my God. Other way. What am I doing? Dude, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't guess that either. Good stuff. Oh my god. Very good, good stuff. Good job, Ashley. Thank you. So you guys have seen this one on the YouTube before. Gonna be a little squat or a lunge to sumo squat supersets. Uh, Ashley is a figure competitor, so big legs, big glutes, big back, that's her goal. Yeah. This is the uh, glute final exercise for glutes and hamstrings and quads. Gonna be fun. How many sets? Fun. Well, I think we're gonna do one set here. Yeah. Just one. She's pretty cooked. Huh? Yeah, pretty, she's pretty cooked. Yeah, I'm maxed out at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Plus the exercise variations changing from last week. She did a Bulgarian split squat last week. Lunge is slightly different, especially with the superset. Lots of metabolites, not gonna be very used to it. So just putting in two or three sets of this right away would toast her for the next week. Good, no breaks between steps. Go, go. Yep. You go. There Good you chest. go. Good, way to control. Big chest. Two more per leg. Two more per Good. leg. Let's, Let's go. go. Four yes. total. One. Two. Yes. Again. Come on. Three. Last one. Immediately into sumo. Go, 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 go. Right Toes Set out back. more. Set back. Sit back. Up. Oh, one. yeah. You're going to do another one? Deep. I'm going to pull this off. Up, up. I'm pulling it off. Keep you going. have Keep the strength to do it. Let's go. Up. Keep the hips Good. Open. Hips open. Right here. Open. Up. Right back down when you get up. Down. Down. Up. Control the Easton's cash. Uh, Down slow. Go. Down. Go. 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 Right now. Up. Good. No control. bullshit. Control. Take your hands control. off your control. legs. Control. Down. Down. Control. Control. Up. Up. One Ash. Ash. Three more Down. Ash. One. Down. Let's go. Let's get this go. one of three right now. Slow. And up fast. One. Down, Down slow. slow. Up fast. Two. Last one. Go. Big chest. Slow. Up. Good. Oh my god. My legs have had to fucking go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh that was it. That's how we're doing one. <laughs>Tough if you do it correctly. Number one, any calf machine work great. Two rules. One, go nice and deep, slow, big stretch. Rule two, come all the way up, peak contraction, hold for a split second. No bending knees like crazy, no heaving weight. Wait for calf raise, true calf raise, humbling. Okay, not a lot of weight. Calf not huge muscle, but you do high rep, set of 10 to 20, maybe even up to 30 rep. High quality, slow eccentric, big deep stretch, full lockout. Oh my God, ouch, boil the budget. Anyway, let's get started. Excellent. Deep stretch. Excellent. Deep stretch, come all the way up. 
Oh, good. Yeah. Two more. Finish up strong. Good. And one last one. Big stretch. That's it. Good Slow. Stuff. Good stuff. Stretch. That's it. Good stuff. One is good. Okay, guys. That's called workout. IFB Pro, Ashley Lakamovsky. <laughs> Great stuff. Movements close to failure, full range of motion, tons of stimulus, very little fatigue, although as you can see, some fatigue cost always comes. Like we say in Russia, fatigue is what life is about. All you do is accumulate fatigue and then you die, hopeless, alone. Oh. Jared? Yeah, great, great, that was a great <laughs> job. Good job, Ash, how do you feel? Uh, hopeless and alone. Very much, see? hopeless and tired. And now you get to beat that next week. Yes, oh my God.